I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Jeremy Brown, the man who was killed by Mrs. Hood's son. His funeral attendees wear knockout king t-shirts. I just can't believe it. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. Jeremy Dem Brown, who is now deceased, who was killed by the 14-year-old son of Mrs. Hood. His funeral attendees wore knockout king t-shirts. This is not only disrespectful to the man who's deceased, but this is also disrespectful to Mrs. Hood, who took several right hands from this bump. Look at this bump. But the funeral attendees wanted to put it in Mrs. Hood's face and her son. This shows you that we have no morals, no class, no respect, no nothing in our community. There are some parts of our community that is a moral desert where there is no morals. It's lawless. Look at these women. They are smiling. What the hell is you smiling for? A man has lost his life because he couldn't control his emotions. Another young man who's 14 has to live the rest of his life knowing that he killed a man to defend his mother. But this is how you show respect for those who have passed away before the whole issue of why this happened, and it should never have happened. He should have walked away, but he struck this woman. This is one of the most reprehensible things I have ever seen. They're calling him the knockout king at his funeral. Are they supporting domestic violence? saying it was okay for Jeremy Brown to go around punching women because he damn sure wasn't punching men. Here's a man they said possibly burnt down his girlfriend's house. But this is what we see in modern day America. This is what we see as a funeral. And these women are smiling and they actually start twerking at the funeral. What the hell is going on in America? And especially in the black community. Let me tell you something. When I say we might be done, we may be done as a people. Because we have too many people in our community who have no morals. They're just walking around lawless, doing whatever they want to do. Instead of squashing the issue, they're looking for attention on social media at this funeral in which this man literally threw a right hand and damn near punched this woman's head in. So there is people that say she could have walked away, but that's done. That's past tense we're talking about right now in which he's considered the knockout king by his family and that should tell you something this is a ratchet ass family a family if I was that woman I would get the hell out of Chicago with my son as quick as possible because they may not strike today they may not strike tomorrow but in the future, could be six months, a year, year and a half down the line, they may seek revenge. These people are a little bit off. And they live in a whole different world than we live in. See, they don't consider what Jeremy Brown did was wrong. Maybe this was his normal behavior in their world. But not in our world. What the hell <coughs> is these women smiling about?
what in the hell is going on in their minds? This is a world that we live in today that is lawless. There is no respect, no morals, just people out here doing whatever they want to do and doing it for attention. Instead of them taking this and saying he was wrong and possibly sitting down with Mrs. Hood, they see it as an opportunity to get attention for something that not only embarrassed the family, but kind of like embarrassed the community that black men are violent, that someone he didn't know, he didn't have to punch her. He could have waited for her to get the food and leave. She could have possibly walked away, but it doesn't make a difference because he's dead. And what did you celebrate him for? What are you twerking for? This is absolutely disturbing. And if you didn't think this community could get any lower, you see it now. You see the depths of hell that we have shrunken in the black community. And let me tell you something. We so far down, hell, I don't even think we can get the hell back up. This is, this is, man. I, let me tell you something. I'm so damn mad right now. This is so damn disturbing. I didn't think somebody would do some shit like this. But they actually did it. They don't care. They don't care about the situation that occurred and how this is affecting everyone. We got people on YouTube, we got people in public arguing about should he have hit, punched her? Should he have, uh, her son not shot? It doesn't matter. It's how you deal with it when it's over. And this crap right now, man, let me tell you something. This, this is proof right now. This is proof right now. We got maybe 40 to 50% of our community that is not worth saving. These people are not worth saving. To celebrate the man as the knockout king. I want to thank you for listening to Black Psych This Quick Take. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. But also share this video.